Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. Federal government orders vice chancellors to reopen universities. Three persons killed, others abducted by gunmen in Zamfara state. Nigeria's power grid collapses again. House of Reps charges contractor handling Abuja Makodu Road completed in record time. Nigeria's federal government through the National Universities Commission has ordered vice chancellors to reopen schools and allow students to resume lectures. Sam Onaze, Direct Finance and Accounts of the NUC, gave the directive in a letter signed on behalf of the Executive Secretary of the Commission, Professor Abubakar Rashid. The letter was addressed to all vice chancellors, pro chancellors, and chairmen of governing councils of federal universities. The development comes days after the National Industrial Court of Nigeria temporarily ordered the Academic Staff Union of Universities to call off its own going nationwide strike. ASU had been on strike since 14th February to press home the demand for improved funding for universities, a review of salaries for lecturers, among others. Three persons were killed while eight nursing mothers alongside their babies were abducted by gunmen suspected to be bandits in the Tauji area of Kanoma South District and Maru local government area of Zamfara. Animals were rustled, shops and silos belonging to locals were also vandalized by the terrorists. District head of Kanoma South, Ibrahim Nabature, confirmed the incident to newsmen. He says the incident occurred early hours of Sunday when suspected bandits stomped the area motorcycles in their large numbers, carrying sophisticated weapons and shooting sporadically, subsequently killing three and kidnapping eight persons. The electricity transmission system, also known as the power grid, has once again collapsed. The collapse reportedly occurred at about 10.51 a.m. on Monday, September 26, September 2022. The Enogu Electricity Distribution Company, which confirmed this in a statement to its customer, said works are ongoing by TC and engineers to fix the grid and bring it back up. This is the latest in a series of collapses that a national electricity grid has experienced since the beginning of the year. Many observers have been raising issues on why these incessant collapses are happening. The collapses also have huge implications for the nation's economy and productivity, especially for manufacturing hubs.